Hello everyone. I'm going to ask you an interview question. So imagine you are managing a critical production application running on Kubernetes. Your team needs to update an API key stored in the config map without restarting the application or causing any downtime. How would you ensure the new configuration is picked up dynamically? So if you know the answer to this question without going into the video, please put your answer in the comment section. So if your answer is Kubernetes updates it automatically, then it is not exactly correct because if you inject a config map as environment variable, the values are fixed when the pod starts. So the only way to get the new values is to restart the pod. So that's a common mistake when you're answering this question. But if you mount the config map as a volume, Kubernetes updates it automatically every one to two minutes. And now I'm gonna show you in the demo how you can practice this in your laptop using Docker desktop or any setup that you have. So first let's create the config map. So I have a sample config map here and I'm going to share all the scripts in the GitHub page. I'm going to paste the link in the description. So don't worry about popping this code as it is, just follow along with the video and try to understand the concept. So in the config map, I just have the name my config and a simple message that I'm calling it as hello from config map. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a sample app, fast API based app, and that is reading the config map message that whatever I have, whatever I have put in the config map, similar to the simulated stuff like an API key or anything like that, how your application is going to read the API key. And then every five seconds, my application is going to poll if there are any, if there are any changes in the config map. And I also have the Docker file as you have to deploy, which is using Python 3.9. Ideally, if you are using in your laptop, if you're running out of space, then you want to use either Slim or Alpine version of it. And then uh, the deployment. So the main thing here to understand is that for the volumes, we need to make sure we are using the config map as a volume as opposed to the environment variable. Like I've said, if you're using environment variable, then you have to restart the pod. But if you're using it as a volume, then Kubernetes will make sure it syncs with whatever the update that you make every one to two minutes. So now let's see that. So first I will create the config map. Config map is created. And now I'm going to deploy this. I'm going to run the deployment. So the deployment is created as well. And let me quickly check the pods are also running. And now I'll expose this as node port to check the service, to check the fast API, hit the fast API and uh, get the config map message. So I'm gonna run Perl and to get the port to kubectl get Twice it is running on 31914. So all 31914. Here it is the port. Now this is what uh, we have in the config map. So the main objective of this video is to update the config map and see if the application is able to take it dynamically. So I'm going to make the changes here. Okay, save it. All right, so I have applied the config map. Now I'll run the curl again. It's going to take some time. So now you can see that the new message from the config map is here, updated from config map dynamically without restart. So Kubernetes automatically syncs volume mounted config maps every one to two minutes. This means as long as our app reads the file dynamically, we don't need to restart. So now the interviewer might ask, what if I want the update to happen 
instantly instead of one to two minutes. So there are multiple ways of doing it. One method is to poll every five seconds or whatever, like I've done in the application, which might not be the right way of doing it. You can have a sidecar container, which will check the config map and do it. Or you can also have other methods, which I'm not aware of, but let me know in the comment section if you know any other method. But the parameter that is used to change this time interval, it is called sync frequency in the kubelet settings. I don't think you can do that if you're using, let's say, managed Kubernetes services like EKS or GKE. But there are, like I've said, you know, you can use your own method of updating your application dynamically whenever you make changes to the config map. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more such Kubernetes-based interview questions or scenarios and solutions for those, let me know in the comment section. I'll also provide uh, the solutions and the scripts along with that. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.